afternoon. Uh, we'd first like to thank the nation and uh, Fertel Foundation for this wonderful honor. Uh, Rachel and I are deeply humbled to be in the company of this year's recipients, as well as the past courageous recipients of this award, and to be associated with the incredible legacy of Ron Reidenauer. Um, before I continue, I'd like to mention someone who's in the room with us. Uh, we have Mike Partain, who's sitting at table eight. So Mike's worked tire tirelessly alongside Jerry Ensminger to bring this story to public attention, so we thank him for his work. Uh, we found out about the story by chance. We were researching another film when we met Jerry's sister Marie, who's also here today, at table nine in the corner. And uh, I also want to mention that uh, th this award today recognizes the tr uh, tremendous effort and perseverance of Marine Corps Master Sergeant Jerry Ensminger, and he's been fighting to expose what may have been one of the largest water contaminations in U.S. history. Um, as I was saying, we found out about the story through Marie, and we were researching another story when she mentioned that she had a brother who had discovered a major water contamination at Camp Lejeune and was looking for filmmakers to possibly document his work. We were intrigued and we showed up here in D.C. a few weeks later to meet Jerry and it was during that visit that Jerry showed us a fraction of the thousands of documents that he had painstakingly gathered to prove his case. We were horrified by what we saw, but what really hooked us was Jerry himself. At first he appears to be a gruff former drill instructor straight out of central casting, but as we spent time with him, we saw beneath that tough exterior and recognized that his was an incredibly charismatic voice telling a very important story. When we first started making this film five years ago, we were often asked, do you have an ending? And it's a very reasonable question from other filmmakers and funders and everybody, but to us it also reveals a, a deeper doubt, a kind of cynicism that often runs through our culture. Um, in asking how will it end, it's sort of another way of saying, really? Uh, how much can one man possibly achieve when going up against such a formidable opponent as the Department of Defense? Making this film and finding an ending challenged us to look hard at that question, and that's been one of the most rewarding aspects of the past five years. We feel this film is a portrait of what it takes to battle that cynicism. It's hard work, and it requires idealism and relentlessness. In Jerry's case, we've come to see it as a special kind of patriotism, and to us, Jerry is just that, a patriot. As a Marine, Jerry truly believed in the United States government and the Marine Corps. He was shocked and disappointed in their failings, and his sense of betrayal runs very deep. But ironically, Jerry's military training prepared him perfectly for the struggle that has filled the last 15 years of his life. His dedication and unwavering belief in our democracy keeps him going to the end of our film and beyond. Um, we're thrilled to be able to share some of that dedication and idealism and relentlessness with you today. And it's our very great pleasure to introduce Master Sergeant Jerry Ensminger.